Good afternoon, everybody. Billy here. Today's story is the owl butterfly. In Central America and South America lives a large butterfly with an 8-inch wingspan. Now, for birds that eat butterflies, this very large specimen would be a delightful dinner, except for one thing. On the underside of the hind wings of the butterfly are two large round eyes. That is, marks that look like eyes. In fact, combined with the other markings on the butterfly's wings, the eyes make the insect look exactly like the tropical screech owl, a small owl inhabiting the same jungle growth where the butterfly lives. Birds that normally would make a meal of the large, juicy butterfly see only those owl's eyes, even if, as a small patch of uh, white highlighting on the upper side of what appears to be the dark dilated pupil that makes the, it look like an owl's eye. With such protective coloration, the butterfly doesn't have to worry about anything disturbing it, even when it's sleeping, because the owl's eyes never close. Now, consequently, the butterfly has the equivalent of a permanent guard on duty at all times, day and night. Some people would tell us that patterns such as as the perfectly designed owl eyes on, on the butterfly's wings, they happen by chance, by evolution. Well, the chance that a butterfly's protection is accidental and comes from evolution is so small that we surely wouldn't want to bet on it, now would we? Because as you see in these pictures, the owls, the real owls and the markings on these butterflies, they match so perfectly. That can only come from the Creator who made everything in the first place. And he gave all his creatures ways of copying with, uh, excuse me, ways of coping. Uh, big words and small words, I'm tripping over them left and right. But he gave all his creatures ways of coping with the desert, the danger that began when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden. Undoubtedly, he established simple laws of protective color that came into play as soon as the effects of sin began to appear around the world. That same Creator has given each of us the same assurance of protection against sin and its ultimate result, eternal death. And your verse for today comes from Psalms 91, 5, and 6. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at the noonday. Guys, as you look at the, these beautiful little creatures, you got to think there's no way that that happened by chance or evolution. That's God's hand painting them butterflies. Y'all have a blessed day.